are Spring Colorinos. My name is Louise, I make new videos on a Monday and Thursday, so do subscribe. And today we are going to be making some really great Valentine's crafts. <laughs> remember from you may remember me from such films as <laughs> you might remember from last year in October when I did a really fantastic craft video about pumpkin decorating well today by popular demand I am back doing some really really fantastic Valentine's crafts which you might enjoy to do yourself and incorporate around your home or give to your loved one or your bae um, and I think you're going to enjoy them there's three so I'll get cracking the first one we're going to be doing is making this really wonderful snow globe this is actually incredibly easy to make all you need is a glass jar some pipe cleaners in colours of your choices but I've gone for romance with pink some glitter and I've gone for bright raspberry pink glitter and of course some hearts valentine ribbon to really get the romantic message across to start your snow globe you're going to take one pipe cleaner um, pipey and make a lovely heart so to do that you take the top twist it round twist it round, make a little dent in the top of the heart, <laughs> not a dent in your heart, just a dent in the pipe cleaner, <laughs> Valentine's Day, and then you want to just measure it in the glass, oh it fits, and then bend the bottom bit because you're going to adhere the bottom bit to the lid of the jar, so I'm just going to sort of smash it all down like so um, and it will sit like this if you're feeling cray cray which I am you could also do another one with another pipe cleaner at a slightly different height and size to really give the, the snow globe some depth and just make it like something quite special now we need to attach our pipe cleaner hearts onto the lid so we're going to use a glue gun, which I've been heating down here. Now I will tell you, glue guns are hot, please take care. Um, I've run out of sticks for them, so I just have to stick my finger in this little hole and push it. Ah! Don't put your fingers in holes. Hot hole, it's hot and it's sticky. Ah! But it just got to push it through to get the goopy bit out. Just give it a bit of it. Oh, there it comes. There it is. Oh, lovely. And then, before it dries, take your little hearty things and just stick them on the hot glue, like so, ah, like so. Um, do be careful with fingers, it is, it is searing hot on your flesh, so just be aware of that. And then, just check that it fits into what will be the snow globe. Yes, that's going to fit beautifully. Next step is we need to fill this right to the top with water. Once your jar is full to the brim with lovely fresh tap water, you're going to tip in some of your glitter, not too much, just a sprinkle. And then you're going to put in, oh, yes, yes, there they go. Put those in like so. Wait for your glue to dry, but by this point it should be. Tighten that on as tight as it will go because you want this to be waterproof. And then take some ribbon. I've gone for this really nice ribbon with hearts on. Cut a length off, any length that you feel satisfied with. And tie it round the base just to give it a really, really professional feel. Once your ribbon is beautifully tied on, you can tip your snow globe upside down shake it up and here you have just like this miniature one I made earlier a beautiful valentine snow globe which I question how I lived without you get the shot for our second craft we are going to make some really really fantastic cupid's bows and all you're going to need are some fancy pretentious cardboard straws, some scraps of felt, a pair of scissors 
and a burning hot glue gun. So the first thing you're going to want to do is cut out two triangles out of your felt. I just do this by eye but if I had any sense at all I would have used a template or drawn on with um, with you know a, a drawing implement, a pencil, pencil, <laughs> drawn on with a pencil. But since I am um, a badass I'm just doing it by hand, just did stab myself a little bit there and just taking two very simple isosceles, isosceles, isosceles triangles. Ta-da! Then you want to cut out the shape of sort of the end of the, um, of the Cupid's bow which starts off with a triangle then two lines up Sort of you're doing like a thick chevron, if you will. Two more lines up, until you've got a shape that's like this. When you have that shape, you want to cut another one out, because we're going to be sandwiching them together, and then you want to cut some little slits just down the side to give it a feathered effect. Okay, once you've cut your shapes out, you're going to take one of your straws. You could also use some wood from the forest, but since I don't live in a forest, I have none for you. Um, and then you're going to sandwich them together like this. Take your hot glue gun and glue it all together. Press it all down so that one side is perhaps a little bit oh, 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 more lumpy than on the other side. Wowee! This looks incredible. You want to do the same thing with the ends on the end. Once you've patted that all down, you should have this really amazing Cupid's bow. Don't forget, this is a very versatile craft and as well as doing a uh, stripey straw with small pink bits, you can do a spotty straw with big pink bits. And I really feel like these are things that you will use a lot in your life. There's so many uses for these. Um, not just as beautiful decor, but perhaps you could write the name of your loved one on it and post it to them so that they they know your true love is just for them. They're actually really cute, aren't they? And finally, I have truly saved the best till last. I'm going to show you how to make this really, really fabulous heart wreath that you can hang anywhere in your home or give to anyone that you think should have this absolute masterpiece. So, putting this creation aside, I'm going to show you what you will need. Themed craft paper, I've chosen pink, a stapler, some scissors, some thread, and a whole lot of creativity. First of all, you need to cut some strips of paper. I've chosen to do mine about five centimeters wide, but really, this wreath is so incredible and majestic that it doesn't matter what you do, it's going to look fabulous. So, taking your piece of paper, fold it in half so the tops meet, and make a firm crease at the bottom. Then, take the tops, bend them in slightly, and pinch together so that you see this heart shape. Take your trusty stapler, staple them together and that staple in there looks really really nice, it doesn't look at all industrial or messy. And hold it like this. Do this again with your next piece of paper and then we're going to attach those together. Taking your two hearts, hold them together at the top, take your stapler, pop it in, big squeeze, ta-da, when two became one. Do this all the way around until you've got enough to make this really, really fantastic, if not flimsy, wreath, 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 hot Valentine's decoration.
I hope you have enjoyed all those really fantastic and uh, useful craft ideas. If you've got any good ones, please do show me them on Twitter, Instagram or Facebook or comment below with what you really think that you'll be making from this video. I look forward to seeing you again on Thursday for another fantastic Valentine's Day video because I'm telling you, I love Valentine's. I feel so special, um, especially since I'm so alone. Thanks for watching, see you on Thursday, bye! Oh, I've taken this out, um, and I just like this bag because it feels super, super soft. It has a long strap for if you want to like, look like some sort of like boho goddess, or a short strap if you want to be like a professional mummy woman, which is what I feel like most of the time. Um, it has tons of little pockets and zips, and it has one at the back with a zip in, and I just think that it's a nice, easy bag. I like the butterscotch.